Hey guys, Harris here, and I've got my hands on the HTC One M9, and as a lot of first-time owners and buyers are curious, uh, I do have nine tips and tricks here to get the most out of your HTC One M9. Now starting out with number one is the ability to add custom software buttons to the bottom of your phone. Now you can only put a maximum of four on there, or really adding only one, but you see you do have a few quick settings that you can go ahead and add, and this does add a level of convenience to your phone, so if you want to add a quick toggle to the bottom of your phone via software, you can do that. Coming in at number two would just be customizing it. Now with the new version of Sense Sense 7 on top of Android 5.0.2, you get a really nice way to customize your phone. You can change everything from the themes, to the wallpaper, to the text, to the icon, and the fonts, it's all customizable, and it's through a very nice and simple app. You can choose different templates, you can make your own theme, and you can set it to really customize your phone to however you like. So just looking through these, and you can change pretty much every aspect of your phone in a very simple and intuitive manner, and it's something that's really cool. Now coming in at number three would be the ability to say, okay Google, what time is it? Now to activate this always on Google Now, you go to Settings, Language and Keyboard, Google Voice Typing, and then OK Google Detection, and from there you turn on From Any Screen, and it will set you up through some voice settings, and you're on your way to being able to activate Google Now from any stage whether your phone is on or off. Number 4 is a simple and quick customization tip. You can add, remove, and reorder toggles to your quick setting drawer very quickly, by clicking on the edit button on the top of the drawer. From here you can see all available toggles and you can edit them to your liking. Now coming in at number five, and this is also a front facing video test, would just be to check out the battery usage settings and the battery settings in general on your M9 because they're pretty good and extensive. So if you hop over to your battery manager section in the settings, you can clearly see your current battery life, but then you also get the settings for power saver and extreme power saver modes and which you can go inside and customize those to exactly the battery saving features and mode that you want. And this is a very cool feature if you want to really protect your battery if it's getting low or uh, keep your battery from dying, you can customize these features. You can also see your battery usage settings to see extensively what apps and services are using the most battery and you can customize that for a time frame whether it be an hour, two hours, a day, or two days, or whatever you want. There's a lot of really good and extensive battery settings that you can find with the M9. Number six is a very simple one. With the M9, if you purchase it new, you get 100 gigs of free Google Drive storage for two years. So all this one is, is go to the Google Drive app and redeem that 100 gigabytes of free storage, cloud storage that you can have for two years. Well, number seven would be to activate and kind of start to use Motion Launch. A motion launch is a really cool tool to allow you to quickly get into certain areas of your phone, whether it be blink feed, your widgets, or even just to unlock to the last place you're on without really opening your phone. Now to do this, all you have to do is lift up your phone and tilt it, and then just do a swipe on your phone in a certain direction. There are six different toggles here, or six different motion launches. For instance, you can just tilt it up, swipe to the right, and it will launch blink feed automatically without you having to do anything so Motion Launch is a cool little tool with the M9. So by default with the M9, the multitasking menu is just a grid. It's not bad, you can see a lot of things there and you can close them all at once, but if you're trying to close them individually, it's just a pain in the neck. It's slow and it's bothersome. Now if you want to change this up for number 8, all you have to do is go ahead and enable the card view, and this gives you kind of the stock Android 5.0 uh, card view for multitasking, and this is much quicker to swipe between them, and get a bigger glance and kind of a card view of all of your recent apps. Now wrapping up this list for number nine is a security feature and this is called Smart Lock. Now this basically allows you to not require a password if you are connected to a trusted device such as a smartwatch or an NFC receiver, if you are at a trusted place such as your house or some location, or if you have a trusted face, if it scans your face and recognizes it as trusted, you will not have to type in your password. So for instance, I'll be at my house and I won't be required to enter my passcode, but then if I turn this feature off, I will be required to enter the passcode. So this is certainly a pretty cool security feature. So those are my personal top nine tips. If you have any more, feel free to leave them in the comments and help out everybody. And if you wanna help out me, make sure you hit that thumbs up button, give this video a like. It really shows me that you do enjoy these videos. And I'll see you in the next one.